out by AK Sniper, has worked his way through the loser's bracket back up into these finals using nothing but that strategy. Yep, what well, we're going to have to see here, Mega Zero kind of perfecting that one in for himself. We see here his 86 attack damage compared to the 73 of a near attack. It means a near attack got 14.53 compared to 17.13 extra runic blade damage. So, he did a little bit less than what we've seen from some of the other opponents coming out from Mega Zero. But, near attack's gotten this far, rocking that a little bit lesser of a damage style build. Mega Zero, though, he is going to hit level 2 just one minion before a near attack. So, both of them relatively on par with one another. Near them, it looks like a near attack might have to start burning some health potions, though, as he uses those broken wind combinations to maneuver himself around Mega Zero rather than just going straight for the throat with them. Yeah, definitely. And uh, a near attack is looking like he's going to come out on the uh, bad side of this engagement. Mega Zero getting some more damage off into a near attack than a near attack is doing onto him. Uh, CS is very, very even. Mega Zero looks like he's actually going to shove the lane this time rather than having it pushed into him. Uh, again, a near attack coming out on the bad side of the trade here, but with the Cloth Armor 5 potions, uh, start he's going to be able to regenerate that health whereas Mega Zero is going to rely on those auto attacks on the creeps with the Doron's blade to regenerate that health uh, you know health potions a little more effective than just the flat Doron's blade with no lifesteal yeah, so it looks like uh, New Tech actually burned through t three of his own health potions already. So he is going to heal himself up pretty pretty close to full. Probably like two-thirds HP right there. Maybe three-quarters. Depends what kind of uh, fraction you like better. Mega Zero, though, in the meantime, is sitting still at about half HP. New Tech with those two health potions might try to get a little bit aggressive on Mega Zero sometime soon. Both of them are so, so close to level four here. And New Tech actually might wind up hitting it first if he knocks down two of these minions here. Mega Zero goes back before he gets level four. So Nier Tech is going to have a slight experience of learners over Mega Zero for the time being, but nope, Mega's actually going to wind up burning the teleport. He has the five, uh, he has the uh, extra health potions and the Doran's blade. Not quite five, it's only two this time, but he's immediately taking the fight to a near attack, and a near attack's going to have to maybe back off of this one as he's burned through both of his health potions at the same exact time. Yeah, and that's really the way Mega Zero has preferred to use the teleport. So he goes back very, very early. He waits until he has a little over 500 gold. And he uh, goes back, ooh, very, very close there. Goes back and buys the Doran's Blade and extra health potions just to get that small advantage. And like we just saw, he burned the barrier out of a near attack, and he still has barrier. So until that barrier is is back off cooldown for a near attack, Mega Zero is going to have an extreme advantage in these 1v1 fights. And uh, that's really how Mega Zero has used teleport this entire tournament. He goes back early, gets a small advantage, comes back into lane, and pushes the unexpected advantage onto his opponent. <laughs> and uh, is thus able to usually take the barrier and then have the advantage until the barrier comes back up throughout the rest of the game. Well, Nier Tech did go back, picked up a Dorange Blade in addition to his Cloth Armor and five health potions for himself. Mega Zero went back, he bought a Rejuvenation Bead and has four health potions for himself. So during these kind of back and forth trade situations, those Rejuvenation Beads will kick in a little bit better for Mega Zero. However, in straight up trading situations here, that uh, extra health potion coming out from a Nier Tech might be just a little bit better. Mega Zero does have a bit extra health from the extra Doran's Blade he has in his inventory here. We're taking a look at the health counts here. It's about 76 extra HP for Mega Zero over a near attack. He also has 109 damage compared to the 96 of a near attack. So still keeping that 13 attack damage lead. We see him going in with a full broken winds combo. A near attack though has his on cooldown. Winds up uh, Valoring forward. Gets the key burst down. A counter key burst though from Mega Zero. There is one, two, three broken winds combination strikes. Both these players not yet level six. A near attack wants to go back in. He wants blood from this one. Mega Zero and a near attack both going to bounce off of each other quite literally there. We're going to see, this might be a battle of who hits level 6 first. A near tech looks to be winning that one, but Mega Zero still has the barrier going in fearlessly onto a near tech. Can he get that last hit? No! A near tech's barely going to live with about a half bar of HP right there. And Mega Zero, though, he's going to freely hit level 6 really, really soon. One quick uh, win slash might be enough to deal enough damage to a near tech to kill him. Oh, it looks like a near attack under the tower. Wind Slash does connect. Mega Zero takes a tower hit. He barriers up. He wants to die for a near attack. Mega One, diving two. Here. Oh man, Mega Zero, is he going to want to go in? He's chasing after a near attack still. That Valor is on cooldown. A near attack running for his life saying, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. He has no health potions left after this. He's been chugging through. Mega Zero gets key burst. A near attack going back towards the safety of his own tower. He has a, the Blade of the Exile of himself. Wind Slash is available. He's going to use it to clear out minions though. Mega Zero is not going to want a piece of that one. And it looks like both of them are going to wind up not wanting to fight here. There's the Blade of the Exile still popped for a near attack. That's available for no more. 
more seconds, so he doesn't have the extra damage. Mega Zero goes in, Keepers goes down, one, two broken wing slices. Last one right there, misses on a Nier Attack, that Valor out of the way from that one. Mega Zero has a large chunk of HP over a Nier Attack, but is it going to be enough to deal the damage and get the kill? So incredibly close here, and uh, Mega Zero, I feel like he has to end this game before a Nier Attack gets Barrier, because when a Nier Attack gets Barrier, he's going to have that over Mega Zero. Mega Zero's going to go in here. He needs one, one more Q more and he wins the game. Oh, the Blast Broken Wings takes it right there. First Blood Mega Zero barely lives.